Hello, this is Rob from Rims Models. This is my third update of the Mini Art US Bulldozer. Uh, just before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers, new and old. And thank you for all your comments as well, it's really kind. Anyway, let's show you what I've done. The construction's actually finished. I've done all the builds, it's all done. I've done, only done one side of the tracks. I haven't done the other side yet. Well, I'll show you that in a minute. But actually, the actual build itself, the actual build is all complete. All that's complete now. And it's been, it's been good, it's been enjoyable. Uh, there's been no problems. The only problems has been the tracks. But I'll, I'll explain that in a bit. But I'll show you what I've done. What I've done, I had a little practice, I had a little um, practice doing some chipping. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, let me do it the other way. Like that. What I've done, I'll show you what I've used in a minute, but I've done a rusty primer. There's, a, a, there's, there's three or four different coloured rusts there. Well, I'll show you what I've used. And then what I've done then, I sprayed some chipping fluid on it. And this side is Tamiya. Tamiya yellow. And that side is the Vallejo. Now I wasn't I wasn't that keen on that one. It was peeling off like it didn't it wasn't it wasn't um chipping very good. Whether it's some of I done, I don't know. But that side, this side chipped brilliantly, so I was really pleased with that. So that's the one I've gone for. I've gone for the, the Tamiya yellow. And then for the dowser blade, there, sorry I'm blocking the way. I'm using this here. This crown. This is only it's only an experiment, this was just to see how it come out. And it come out really well. And when it's when it's totally dry I'll polish that up to a really good shine. So then with my three experiments. And basically what I've done, I primed it with this, my gamo, brown oxide primer, that was my main primer. So I sprayed everything with that. There, just sprayed the whole lot. And then, I used my rust effects set. And what I've done, I've done a, a light rust, a medium rust, and a dark rust then with the three I used. So I used the the red the red oxide primer first, sprayed the whole lot with that, then I did the edges with these and just you know different parts just to give it a bit of um different variation in colour. So then what I what I used there and then when that had dried <clears throat> I sprayed it with this AK Warn effects. So I've done a I've done a coat of that, sprayed that, and then when that dried, I've done that XF3, which is flat yellow. There, that's the yellow I've used. But this yellow here, the Vallejo one, that's the Vallejo one I use there, which is yellow there. It's a shame because it. It was a nice. It looked really nice, but as I said, when I when I was chipping it, it was coming off. It was peeling off like you know when um, PVA glue dries and it, you peel it off, it comes off like skin. It was like that, and I thought, no, nah, I didn't like that. And then the um, the front of the dowser blade, I'll show you in a minute. I sprayed that there, um, seventy seven there, that number there. Which is chrome. I've had it. I've had it for ages. I've never used it, so I thought I'd get it a try on it. And I really, it's really come out well. So basically, with all them colours I've done, this this is what it starts off like. Like that. As you can see, there's all there's all different colours. I hope, I hope you can see it well. There, I haven't sprayed the radiator because that's a different colour. Well, as you can see, I've done 
I don't think it's showing up very well but there is different shades of rust there see if I can find another piece um, also this see if you can see it better on this I don't know if you can make it out but there is different shades of rust but that's how it starts out like that and then when it's finished this is the actual finish now it'll look like that and you see I, don't know. I hope it's showing up well because it looks really good and it's the first time I've tried something like this but um, when it's when I've got it got it all assembled I should do my filters on there and washes and all that as you can see it chipped up it chipped up really well really chips well that um, to me paints because this is the roof I've got to paint the inside of the lights yet you can see I'll just um, get it a chip in oh, see if I can hold it up there like that look but you can see the different rusts showing through there's them now the front of the dowser blade I haven't done the back yet there because I've only just sprayed this but hold on let's show you it a bit better that's the front there, it's got to be polished yet to a high, sh a high um, fin like a, a really shiny finish and what I'm going to do as well I'm going to spray some chip in here and I'm going to do some very f like faint yellow here make it look like it's worn away all that's going to be yellow on the back there and then the sides but you can see, you can see the different shades there look that's that's the blade and also these this this is what the tracks are going to look like there they were a nightmare and I'm not joking these are the worst tracks I've ever had to do it's took me two nights just to do them there and they're still not brilliant they're still not brilliant but they will straighten up because they're they're not fitted on properly yet. They will straighten up when they're, when they're fitted properly. But they are a nightmare. If you get this kit, I, I would advise to get the metal tracks, the aftermarket tracks. Uh, I had a right job. Took like I say two nights there to do that. But besides that, it's it's a great kit. I really can't fault it. I mean that. Uh, I mean, yeah. So if you tried the tracks, you'll probably have a better, better joy at it than I did. Right, I had a right game. Well, like I said, though, they, they, they look all right when they're, they're painted and that. I think they'll look cool. But that's where I am. Uh, I've got these here. These come with the kit as well. Let's just show you these. These are the jerry cans. There, look. There, like that. These come with it. You got decals as well for this one. This one's going to be painted white. I think these are um, one green and one's going to be yellow. But, um, there's a lot of there's some bits of photo etch on these as well. That's them. So that's where I'm up to at the moment. Like I say, it's all it's all built. I'm just going through all, all chipping it all because there's that much to do there's still quite a lot there's also this this here this was quite a lot of work as well this here look I've had to put the string on there that's that's going to be for the the wind this these bits here but that there that is a lot of work there as well but it's really really detailed uh, that that's where I'm up to. So, like I said, um, if you're thinking of getting it, get it. But I'll, I'd look at some aftermarket tracks. I mean, they they look they are good. Once you get the once you get a, the technique right, how to do it, they do go together all right. But I had a right job. It took me two nights just to do that one side. So 
So that's where I am. Thank you for looking and stay safe.